for his threes. Kawhi in the mid-range, no, but Montrez Harrell comes away with a loose ball. To Kawhi in the corner, no. And a loose ball found Rudy Gobert, and he's skying over everyone to get another possession. Lou for three in the lead, knocks it in. You know what, last year I talked about serving up dessert. Now is Lou Williams' time. Lou was 17 off the bench. Mitchell gets a screen from Gobert. Down the lane whistle and a yes. And within the margins are going to be what separates those top teams. Baby Donovan Mitchell really blazing. Lou to the rim, no rebound, tapped up and in by Montrez Harrell. I'm not sure how many offensive rebounds that Montrez has, but he is battling down low to get him another possession and another score. He wasn't available due to foul trouble in so Leonard Hounds Mitchell, late in the shot clock for Utah. Whistle, and that will be a foul. Well, it's been second efforts here tonight. You just look at his shooting percentage, seven for 10 from the field for Montrezl Hero. Mitchell with 17 fourth quarter points, 36 in the game. For Green, and now Lou Williams really said, hey, I'm going to show you how I can do the exact same thing. Green all alone for three, book it! He's number one in the lead in three-point percentage. And he rolls up and knocked down the shot. Because of all the attention that number two receives for the Clippers, who lead by four. Mitchell for three. And Lou Williams has the rebound. A bucket would go a long way here. Lou for three. Leonard battling for the rebound. Leonard, 14 points in the frame, and the Clippers lead by two possessions here in downtown Los Angeles. A stop and a score would go an awful long way here. Conley picked up by Beverly. Awkward oh. shot, misses everything, out of bounds, Clippers ball. Stay tuned for the post-game show with Jeannie and Don, brought to you by Nissan. I have a feeling they'll be talking a lot about that guy right there here in the fourth quarter. Kawhi sways with possession lead for the Clippers. Kawhi Leonard makes both free throws. He has 28 points. And the Clippers lead 98 to 98 with 145 remaining. As the fans back home, don't know that Kawhi Leonard is averaging 29 points a game. How about most sneakers? He changes at halftime every game, regardless of how well he has played in the first half. He might be keeping those on for another game or two. He has been sensational. He makes the second. Clippers by nine. Bogdanovich has been quiet in the second half. Gets to the rim. Counted up. Top five coaches, in my opinion, for sure. And that's conservative. Clippers by seven. The cool thing for me, I played for Coach Doc Rivers and for Quinn Snyder. Kawhi deep into the paint. And Gobert comes away with a loose ball. Mitchell has been brilliant in the fourth quarter in his own right. Misses there. Rebound oh. saved by Green. That extra possession happened because Montrez Harrell battled to get that offensive rebound, defensive rebound, and then Jermichael Green battled in to get that extra possession. Crowd stands as T-shirts during the game. Who is his running mate? I'm interested. Gobert gets the rebound and then stuffs it in. 101 not is, but I'm interested. Montrez fouled by Donovan Mitchell. And if you want to build your career, Doc Rivers is the coach to do it. It is a rare combination of being a player's coach, getting improvement, winning with talent, and winning without yes. the talent, as we saw the last couple of years. Mike Conley will foul points and six rebounds, but saved his best as he did the other night for last year in the fourth quarter. Clippers by 11 in the final active possession of the game. It becomes a steal from Pat Beverly and the Clippers. Revenge was on their mind when they came to work tonight, and they get it after falling short in Salt Lake City. The Clippers are winners 105 to 94 over a very